Alrighty, so here we've got um, the Tale of Rangoro uh, being played on Oculus Quest 2. Uh, Crazy Publisher Armada, or uh, sorry, uh, uh, Armada. Um, this game reminds me of uh, another game I covered by them, um, where it's a, it's a puzzle game, uh, but this one it's a little bit different. The previous one I covered on PS uh, VR. And in this game, you help this uh, this girl that's shackled to that to that rock. <laughs> uh, you have to defend her. You just shoot uh, shoot enemies. It's actually a lot of fun. I'm gonna go and skip this event here. So yeah, here you've got the uh, system of weapons you have to use to help defend her and utilize the puzzles. Hey, you pick up the rock here. Move this over here. Drop that there. And then I'm going to have to tell her yes to go ahead and pray to the stone. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and bring her over here. Drop her there on the stone. There we go. Yes. Now you don't have to nod your head, you don't have to tell her yes, I just said yes to, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I love the graphics in the game, the game looks really good. The, uh, the overall, whoa, uh, the, yeah, the overall gameplay is really good. Um, the puzzles are challenging, especially when you get into the, like, the gunfights with the, uh, with the little alien guys. And the puzzles are pretty challenging too. But you can hold, you can hold her up in the air. You can also fire things. Which is going to be important later on. You're going to have to learn how to utilize both, both at the same time. The story's kind of interesting, too. And I swear this is the same girl from the, from the, the other game I played, but I can't be sure. And then at the end, you get how you did, time, score, and next map. You always research the map to see if you get a better score. Oh yeah, you do this sometimes to heal her. I thought that was kind of cool. Kind of gives a sense of immersion. It's pretty kind of cool. It's kind of kind of interesting because when you do that, the the controllers vibrate. Okay, now I need to. Where? Now then, let us pursue Elder Mark's tactic together. Do not worry. I am certain of our success. Oh. I have very good intuition, you know. So it's over here. I forgot about that. That's my fire. We have to think of the fine boundary. We should be able to adjust. The orb you chose. Sometimes you can get a little annoying. Um, I, I will say that. <laughs> Especially if, you, if she keeps getting hit. You know, if you be in these one-liners. But for the most part, this game's pretty fun. Okay, 
Would you just pray to the stone? Oh, wait. Oh, no, that's right. I have a feeling. Yep, this is where you find the uh, little alien guys. You gotta. I like to put her up in the air so that they don't hit her. But it can be kind of, kind of tricky when you're trying to, uh, pr like, swing her around and <laughs> prevent her from being hit. And trying to get the, the stones to kill these guys, because they'll actually end up respawning. So you have to be careful. And she won't pray to the stone if she is, she won't pray to the stone if those little guys are near her. Or are present in the scene, for that matter. Oh, come on, I thought I had that. So, okay, so they're, they're the little commie guys, but they are. And no, I'm not meaning that as a derogatory term. The game calls them commie, so that's what they are. Do what? Oh, yes. Right, because it's boss up here. That's what. That's, that's why. That's why you're all upset. Oh, and these guys, of course. See, it can be kind of tricky trying to uh, navigate and not. And not get her to get hit. Are those all of them? Put you down right there. Uh, yeah, that's all of them. Oh. I forgot you had to hit that stone over there. Or not. Oh. <laughs> of course, follow the steam pipe. There we go. So yeah, graphically speaking, the game's pretty impressive. Um... I like the music. Music fits the game very nicely. Uh, puzzles are challenging, like I said. Graphics are good. Uh, story is interesting. And it's a game I never would, would recommend checking out. If you guys are a fan of puzzle games with uh, minor shooting elements, um, uh, The Telephone Guard is going to be a game you're going to want to check out. Um, and my other view here, guys, I want to thank uh, uh, Monica K for the repetition. I want to thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and as always, until next time, take care and happy gaming.